Once upon a time, in a small cozy town nestled between lush green hills, there was a young and ambitious chef named Isabella. Her dream was to bring culinary joy to the world through her unique, mouth-watering creations. She had trained at the finest cooking schools, apprenticed under some of the best chefs, and now she was ready to make her mark. Isabella poured her heart and soul into her small, rustic restaurant, La Dolce Vita. The menu was a beautiful blend of traditional and modern cuisine, with an emphasis on locally sourced ingredients. However, despite her best efforts, the restaurant struggled to find its footing. The locals were wary of the unfamiliar flavors and hesitant to stray from their usual fare. As the months dragged on and the bills piled up, Isabella's once burning passion began to flicker and fade. She was close to giving up on her dreams when she received a letter that changed everything. A renowned food critic, known for his discerning palate, was planning to visit the town, and La Dolce Vita had made his list of potential restaurants to review. Isabella knew that this was her chance to prove herself, but she had no idea what would captivate the critic's taste buds. Desperate for inspiration, she visited the town's farmer's market, hoping that the vibrant colors and tantalizing scents would spark her creativity. As she wandered through the bustling stalls, a peculiar ingredient caught her eye, a small, unusual fruit called a miracle berry. The vendor explained that this rare fruit had the unique ability to alter one's taste perception, making even the most ordinary dishes taste extraordinary. Intrigued, Isabella decided to take a chance on the miracle berry and incorporate it into her menu. Over the next few days, she experimented with various combinations and techniques, crafting a recipe that would showcase the miracle berry's potential. Eventually, she settled on a simple yet elegant dessert, a citrus panna cotta infused with the essence of the miracle berry. The night of the critic's visit arrived, and Isabella's nerves were frayed. She watched anxiously as the critic sampled each dish on the menu. When it came time for dessert, she presented the panna cotta with a flourish, explaining the unique properties of the miracle berry. The critic took a bite, and his eyes widened with delight. He was captivated by the symphony of flavors that danced on his tongue, a harmonious blend of sweet, sour, and savory notes. He declared the dessert a masterpiece and praised Isabella's innovative approach to cuisine. The critic's glowing review spread like wildfire, and soon, La Dolce Vita was the talk of the town. Customers flocked to the restaurant, eager to experience the magic of the miracle berry for themselves. Isabella's career skyrocketed, and she found herself back in the spotlight, propelled to new heights by her unwavering dedication to her craft. The taste of success was sweet, but it was the lessons Isabella learned that truly enriched her life. She discovered that even in the darkest moments, a flicker of inspiration could spark a flame that would light the way to her dreams. And most importantly, she learned that taking a chance on the unusual and embracing the unknown could lead to a world of unimaginable possibilities.